Campbell Newman has lifted a 23-year ban on uranium mining after saying he had no such plans before the election. He says it's crazy to miss out on a $10 billion industry. Leonie Mellor has the story. In Gundawindi for the latest community cabinet. It's a long journey for you. The Premier and his team deciding to overturn the state's steadfast opposition to uranium mining. I think it's crazy that Queensland sits, sits back and continues to say no. He says it's a $10 billion industry waiting to happen. Opponents quick to slam the move. Digging up the ground, you know, contaminating our waterways just so they can have all these dollars in Brisbane to spend in the southeast corner of the state. The Premier ruled out any plans for uranium mining before the election and reiterated his stance in this letter to the Australian Conservation Foundation just 11 days ago. But Mr Newman says Julia Gillard's recent trip to India and urgings from her ministerial colleagues prompted the rethink. The recent uh, statements by the Prime Minister has essentially forced my hand. Mining has effectively been banned since 1989 when the Goss government was elected promising a nuclear-free state. The Mary Kathleen, Queensland's only operating uranium mine, closed in 1982. Queensland has 83 current mining leases, more than 200 exploration permits. Companies just waiting for the state to change its mind on this controversial issue. We've bashed hell out of the government for the last seven months over it and, uh, and we must certainly today welcome it. The opposition warns the next step could be a nuclear power industry in Queensland. A three-member panel will report to the government in January. In Gundawindi, Leonie Mellor, 10 News.